hi guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here i'm kim welcome to black burns ever after and in today's video i'm going to be doing something that you guys have requested so many times in the comments y'all want to know what i'm using on my hair y'all want to know how to do my hair so my usual go-to style is a wash and go and so that's what i'm going to be showing you guys today how I do my wash and go, what products I use, and the technique that I use that always gets me the perfect wash and go every single time. Let's talk about these products because you guys know I use my own hair butter, I use my own hair oil. If you've asked me that question in the comments, that's been my response to you. Well, I have something special for you guys. I am now coming out with my hair butter and my hair oil. So now you can purchase these two products and get the same results you can head over to my website cambriarenee.com and sign up to be on the email list because the site isn't going to go live until the 30th of august if you've been one wanting to know how i get my hair like this then stay tuned so this hair is two weeks old and it needs to be washed very very badly as you can see I could probably get three weeks out of my hair, but I don't let my hair go that long before I wash it. So the first thing you want to do is just start off with clean hair. Use whatever shampoo or conditioner that you would usually use or co-wash it with whatever conditioner you usually use. It's your choice on this step. I just need you to start off on clean hair. I'm going to wash my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This is what my hair looks like when it's completely washed with no product on it i like to do the loc method which is liquid oil and cream or leave-in oil cream however you want to do it i'm not using a leave-in today my liquid is just going to be water then i'm going to put my um, deeply rooted oil on it and then i will follow that with my southern meal buttercream and the gel that i'm going to use is this because I'm out of the Kaleidoscope Miracle Drops Gel. I've been liking this lately. I found this on sale at Walmart and I need to go get me some more. But so I'm gonna just use my tried and true extreme wet line gel. I'm using this to part my hair. I'm gonna be using these clamps to section my hair off. And then um, of course I have my butter, I have my oil, and I have a spray bottle with some water because um, your hair doesn't have to be soaking wet for this, but it does need to be damp. And my hair will, by the time I get to the front of my head, it'll be dry. And so I'll need some water. And that's pretty much it. And just your fingers. So let's get started. So to start, I'm just going to go in and do the part that I want. Whenever I wear washing goes, I usually do a side part because i don't know i just don't like the way a middle part looks with the washing go on me um but you do your part however you like we've already detangled you should have already detangled by this point and so your hair should be very easily to section off and get ready for this style so i'm just sectioning my hair into four sections because it's kind of thick and it's easier to work with small sections it's also going to ensure that the product gets all the way through your hair don't be lazy when it comes to wash and goes the smaller the section the better because you're going to have that definition throughout and your hair is going to last longer it's not going to frizz up on you as fast i start with four sections but as you see me go i will be reducing those sections down as well i like to start with this section what you do is you just take in half that section just like that pin this part up and this is what we're going to work with so at this point if your hair was starting to dry out you would spritz it with some water so i'm just going to spritz my ends with water water because the rest of it you know doesn't really need it so Got my ears spritzed. Now I'm gonna go in with my oil. This is the Deeply Rooted Growth Elixir. You can just open it, a little bit goes a long way. Um, keep in mind, it does have a little bit of peppermint oil in it. So it is going to tingle just a tad bit. I like to start by putting it on my scalp, just a little bit. 
and massaging it in. I'm massaging with the pads of my fingers, not my nails. Don't be scratching your head. You just want to massage, kind of do it in circular motions, but don't tangle your hair up to do it. I like to kind of like hold my hair with one hand and then go in with the other hand and massage. And just stimulate the area a little bit. Get your blood flowing in that area so that the hair oil can start doing its thing. And next, I want to take just a little bit in my hand, maybe a dime size amount. Uh oh, I'm making a mess, y'all. A dime size amount into your hand, rub it together, and then put it on the length of your hair. It really mostly focus that oil on your ends so this is going to seal in your liquid so if you chose to do a leave-in this was sealing your leave-in or if you just cho are choosing like me to do water this is going to seal that moisture from the water into your hair Now that we have that sealed, by now you should start feeling the oil working. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of my buttercream, maybe this much. It, you, how much you use depends on the, how big the section of hair you're about to work with. Starting from your ends and working your way up, you're just gonna take the buttercream. I like to just start by putting it on my ends and then I'm working my way up with the product. Gliding my hair through my hands to get all that product in there, and you're just going to keep working it in. If you have a tool, say like a dimming brush or some type of detangle brush, I would suggest using it at this point to kind of distribute the product throughout your hair. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm just going in with a dimming type brush and just work your way up, smoothing that product all throughout your hair. So now you can see that the cream is throughout my hair. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of gel and just work it all throughout the hair. And this is honestly all I do, you guys all i do so you just play around with it until the curls are to your liking um just smoothing the gel in i wouldn't do more gel than that because you do want your hair to stay kind of fluffy and nice um so don't overdo it with the gel but as you can see my curls are really popping and we're just going to continue that process all over my head. You didn't see me separate the hair and do any type of twirling. Nothing like that. I let my curls naturally form the way that they want to form. I probably should not have worn a black shirt just so you guys can see better. Just continue that process over your whole head and then you're done. Don't use too much oil. You don't want this running down your neck and ruining your clothes or anything like that. A little bit goes a long way. I cannot stress that enough. And just work it in. Keep it on your scalp one to three times a week. If you have a problem area that you are trying to grow back, I would say do it every day. Give it some stimulation every single day. When you're sitting watching TV, put a little oil on it and massage it every single day. I can remember when my edges were my problem area. Not a lot of people knew because I have a lot of hair, but after I had Aiden, I breastfed him for almost three years. He just did not want to let go of the liquid go. And I suffered from postpartum shedding really, really bad. And so bad to the point where my edges just said, adios, I'm out of here. <laughs> my edges were gone, y'all. When I went natural in 2010, I used to make a hair growth oil because when I would pull down my hair, it would stop at the top of my ear. By September or October of that same year, with using this oil formulation, it was on my shoulders. When I pulled my hair down, my hair grew so fast and I kind of stopped using it because honestly, my hair was at a length that I loved. It was super thick and I just didn't, I would oil my scalp, but not with a growth formula. I would just use a regular, a regular oil. It wasn't anything to enhance or grow my hair. It was just a regular oil that I would oil my hair with. I stopped for a long time. And once I started losing my edges after Aiden, 
um, after breastfeeding Aiden, I uh, went back to the drawing board and I'm like, what was that oil I used to make? And so I thought about it and I remembered what I used to do. And so I made it and y'all, my engine started coming back. And it's like an inside joke between me and Dre because he will be like, if I wear my hair pulled back, oh, that girl got edges. <laughs> Because when I tell you, he was the only person who knew my edges had flown the coop. Because <laughs> I always wore my hair down, so no, it, was, it was so big and fluffy, and nobody knew I didn't have my edges were gone. Not gone, like bald gone, but sparse, like baby chicken feathers, sparse. <laughs> I, I will insert what picture I'm picturing in my head right now. The pains of being a mom. But they grew back. They grew back really quick. And I've been using my oil ever since. And as you can see, that's this section. Although I might put a little bit more gel because I don't want it to be too big on day one. And when I say a little bit, I'm talking about that much on the poop part because my hair will get really big really fast. It will die to really quick. Um, so yeah, this is the section. Y'all saw how fast I did that talking to you guys. I'm probably going to diffuse it just to show you guys how I stretch my hair and how I diffuse my hair. This took less than five minutes, honestly, to do the back of my head. And my curls are popping, popping. As you can see, when it dries, it's going to have some volume to it. Um, this part is almost dry on its own because I use very little water. But it feels so good. It's super soft, super moisturized. There's no cast from the gel, nothing. So I'm just going to finish out, do the front of my hair, and then I'm going to come back and show you guys how I diffuse everything. If you're wondering if these products are safe to use on kids, they are. I used my oil in Aiden's hair. This is how his twists started, and this is where his twists are today. I will say, because there's peppermint oil in it, it does have a slight tingle, so I would say test a little spot just to see if they're okay with that sensation. One day, my goal is to come out with a complete shoulder line, but you know, with everything you start, it takes time, and I'm not just going to bring anything out. I really um, want to make sure it's correct, make sure it's right. Formulation is not easy. It takes a lot of research. It takes a lot of trial and error, a lot of math. <laughs> A lot of things. Almost done. One last section. Let me do some to these edges. All right, so that's what my hair is looking like right now. You can see super mounty, super moisturized, super defined. And you could definitely let this air dry and wear it shrunken, or you can diffuse it. This is my diffuser. It's pretty raggedy but it still works and i'm not gonna get rid of it until it catches on fire like my other one so to diffuse i don't section my hair off i kind of just go gently you know hitting all the spots until it's dry but to stretch it you'll see me put it back into the four sections and stretch each section individually and i don't know we might go get something to eat and then i'll come back and stretch it i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna let it air dry for a little bit and then i'll come back and stretch it because i don't feel like doing this all right guys so i am back my hair has been air drying for maybe an hour or two we went to get something to eat and then we got back it's somewhat dry my roots some of my roots in some areas are still damp but i'm about to show you guys how i take my diffuser and stretch this you definitely can wear your hair shrunken like this if that's your preference and just let it stretch naturally throughout the week but i like mine to be a little stretched the first day so i'm gonna show you guys how i do that i'm gonna take my diffuser and i'm gonna section my hair off into fours but this time when i section it I'm being gentle not to disturb my curls. I'm not trying to cause any freeze. I'm just kind of gathering up the section and I'm just going to pin it off like that. Like I'm not trying to create freeze or disturb my curl pattern too much. So I'm just going to do this in four sections. And so now I'm just going to split my back section in half. It's still a little damp. 
So you just want to be gentle when you're separating those curls. Now this one I will gently pin it up. But that's just because I need to work with this bottom section. Let me see if I can get it to where you guys can see it. Okay, so I'm just going to grab all of my hair up. We do not, do not touch the ends unless you're drying them. And if you're drying it, you shouldn't be stretching it. Dry it first, then stretch. So the ends we're not going to touch because you want your ends to stay super defined. It's going to give the illusion that your hair is super defined all the way up. So you just take your diffuser. You're going to put it on the top for a little bit. Put on the bottom. Stretch it a little bit more. Put on top. Put on the bottom. Maybe two or three times. And that should be good. Unless you want it to be super stretched. And then you run the risk of losing a little bit of definition. I just realized I didn't have it on the heat setting that I want. So I'm going to do the bottom one again. I'm trying to figure out why it wasn't stretching like I wanted it to. So a nice little stretch. And a nice little stretch. Didn't lose any definition, no frizziness, just bouncy, full, defined hair. Just like that. And that's how I do my hair, you guys. And I'll do this all over my head and style it however and just go. And this will last me um, a week. And I'll probably refresh it or um, style it another way or usually... When I refresh, I do twists. Just because by then, I'm tired of my hair being down. And so I'll put in some twists. Just like that. That's how you stretch. And it's still super defined. It's not frizzy. It's just going to give you that full, bouncy, curly look. And you can tell that my hair is super soft and moisturized. And there you have it. My back is somewhat stretched. I am not touching my ends because that's going to give the illusion of your curls like being super super defined is keeping those ends that's the trick been doing it for years hair can be nappy all up in here but defined ends people be thinking oh your hair is so pretty like ooh, i haven't watched it in a month i'm just kidding i never go a month So that is my hair stretched out. That's not the last step for me. So next, if I were not, if I, if for video purposes, I'm going to show you my next steps, like to get my hair ready to go out. But if it was just me at home, I would literally throw this up in a pineapple and go about my business. But to prep my hair to go outside, I want it to be a little bit bigger. So I would just take my pick and gently lift my roots. Very gently. I mean, almost as if you're not doing it. And you just do the perimeter of your head. No, don't go crazy with this part, please. You don't want to undo all your hard work. You literally just want to give your hair a little bit of lift.
Don't forget the perimeter because that's important. But the part that really, really sets this look off is the hair flip and the taking your fingers and just kind of doing the curls, right? So let me let this down just so you can probably see me better. So you just want to flip your hair like this. I want to stay in the camera. So, and then I just kind of go around and separate the curls. I'm gentle with it, but I'm also making sure I'm getting a good separation. This is going to give you a more volume. It's going to really set off that root lift that you just did. All that good stuff. Now, okay. Flip. Shake it a little bit. And boom, baby, we got thick hair. And then you just place your hairs where you want them. And that's it. That is really how I do my hair, y'all. Very simple. If I was not recording, I probably would have done this in no time. I can't even tell you. And I can't see. So let's put my glasses back on. Okay, so that is literally how I do my wash and goes. So simple, so easy. As you can see, my hair is super bouncy, super defined, super moisturized. Friday, August the 30th, my website will be live where you guys can purchase your very own Southern Bell Nourishing Buttercream and my Deeply Rooted Growth Elixir. I will have more products coming, but this is what I'm starting with. And um, I appreciate all of you. Be sure to check the description box below because I will have all of the information that you need in the description box, including my website. I'm so proud of my products. I'm so excited to share them with you guys. I cannot wait for my site to go live and for you guys to be able to experience it for yourselves. So that's going to do it for this video, you guys. Be sure you get in the comments and let me know what you think. Are you excited about trying my products? Make sure you check the description box as well as I'll probably do a pinned comment so you guys know you guys will know my website. I'll also be doing posting on the community board and posting shorts leading up to that day so that you guys will know. Make sure you head over to my website and put your email in and subscribe subscribe i'm going to be sending out a special coupon code for those of you who do so this on lunch day you can get some good savings and some good deals and that's all the thing so if nothing else be sure to like this video comment down below let me know what you think subscribe <laughs> and share it with a friend we don't get keep over here so share it with a friend you guys come on let's make this lunch day just massive so i'm excited i hope you guys are excited and there are there's so much more to come i cannot wait to share it with you all and this is just the start so talk to you guys later be blessed in the words of aiden y'all better get y'all some